everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Jackie. I hope you hit that subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a video, which is every Friday. Or you can follow me on all my social medias. I have Twitter and I have Instagram and also I have a fashion blog, fashionxfairytale.com and those are always linked down below in the description. <laughs> Now for today's video, I am going to be doing my New York City haul. It's actually a little late because I went to New York in December and as I'm filming this, it's currently March. Better late than never, right? So I have my suitcase here beside me because I was doing some spring cleaning. I actually forgot all about this, so when I was pulling out my suitcases, I opened it up and voila! It was all the stuff that I bought in New York City. I was meant to do this when I got back, but I procrastinated and I was waiting for something. Since I purchased a Broadway musical theater package, I was meant to get a gift bag and they canceled my date when I went there so I couldn't pick up my gift bag and then when I went the second time, they didn't have it available so they said they would ship it to me and unfortunately the show is closing so they can't send me that gift bag anymore which is kind of sad but I understand so unfortunately I don't have that so that's why it took me so long to film this video but I'm going to do it today since I have my suitcase here beside me I usually film on my bed behind me but this thing is too heavy so I thought we'd just do a casual video today and just sit here and just go through all the stuff that I bought from New York that I kept from New York New York was just so special to me please count how many times I will say New York in this video so this is what my suitcase is looking like it's still pretty much packed how I left it in December I haven't touched it since I did a lot of shopping while I was there I actually had a pile in my hotel room so I can insert that clip I know I have one of all the stuff that was like piling up while I was there I stayed at the Hotel Pennsylvania it was it was a pretty nice stay and it was very convenient for shopping because it was right next to the Manhattan Mall. It was next to a Target, a Sephora, there was a Pandora, Macy's was just one street away. It was just the best time. I was even in front of Madison Square Garden so every time I exited the hotel you would just see it right there so that was really cool. Since I was next to all those places and did so much shopping, when I went to New York my suitcase was for 44 pounds. On the way back flying to LA, my suitcase was 55 pounds. And if you travel a lot, that means that this thing was overweight. So the guy at the counter said Merry Christmas to me and just let me go. So thank you to that guy. He knew it was the holiday season. I guess since um, everyone was like overweight on their bags, they just let it go. So thank you to that guy. I flew uh, Alaska Airlines. I had to stuff my suitcase like I had to bring my three coats with me as a carry-on because it would not fit in the suitcase okay enough rambling that is it for my little mini New York City story time I'm just going to show you everything that I bought kept everything New York City related so without further ado here is my New York City haul. Starting off with, I'm a very sentimental person. If it has meaning or significance, I will keep it. I will not throw it out. So the first thing in here are a lot of receipts <laughs> that I kept. So I'm going to make a keepsake box and just keep all my memories from my, my boarding pass, my ticket, these random receipts, the bags that I got, like the shopping bags. <laughs> I'm going to keep it all and put it in a box and just have that as a memory. So this is a souvenir shop receipt and this is an H&M receipt. I guess we can start off with this because it's the first thing on here. It is Victoria's Secret so I kept the bags. Uh, of course I couldn't leave them open. I had to flatten them when I put them in my suitcase but when I was there it was so pretty. They were packaged so well. I took pictures of it when I was in my hotel room because they were just so pretty and I knew once I flew home they weren't going to be as pretty anymore. I'm not sure sure which Victoria's Secret one I went to. It was right there by Macy's so I don't know which one that was. They were having a huge sale. I just stumbled upon it. So I walked in and the lady greeted me and she told me that this was the biggest Victoria's Secret 
in the states and i think that's what she told me it was like a very big store and they were having a sale so buy three get three free so i ended up buying a few things and i can show you like the items that i picked up first up is this robe it's a nice very pink robe i actually haven't even worn it yet i should have because it was really cold here in la and i just didn't this is a medium large and it was $59.50 then I got these pajamas these were Christmas themed because I went during Christmas time so I bought it so these are gonna be good for next year it is the extra large and these were $59.50 as well and then since it was buy three get three I got these slippers to go with this so I paid for this and then this got the slippers for free then i got two bras so i got a hot pink one because this is just my favorite color and i also got a red one it is very sparkly it has like these diamonds on the strap so that is really cute i also got fitted when i was there so that was nice so one of these were free i don't know which one so yeah that is the two bras that I picked up. The last thing I got was this hoodie. It says New York on it and then on the back. It just said, has the Statue of Liberty with New York. I got this in a size large. I think this is like from the pink range, not the actual Victoria's Secret one. And this was $69.95. So this is a pretty expensive hoodie so uh i just bought it because it says new york and actually i went to the one here in beverly hills the victoria's secret and they have the exact same hoodie except it says los angeles so if i really wanted to i can get an la one and a new york one so i got that and it's really memorable i love hoodies like this so can't wait to wear this then i got this dog because that is the last thing that i wanted so this was just free with the pink purchase so i got a sparkly pink dog it was like fate because near my hotel there was a pandora and i brought my pandora bracelet to new york with me and when i saw that there was one i had to go in because i wanted to get a charm and i wanted to commemorate my 2018 by traveling by getting a new charm onto my bracelet so that is what i went in for the ladies were so nice they gave me a booklet to look through oh and it even says where i got this booklet from that is so cool it was on west 32nd street new york oh that is really special so i have those again it was packaged really nicely but i had to fold them up because i had to put them in my suitcase i was just gonna get this one thing it is a charm and it is a passport and it has an airplane on it it's very special to me because i moved to la in 2018 and then i went to new york so the passport was definitely a symbol of that so i can't wait to add it to my charm bracelet then as a christmas present to myself i've always wanted it it is a tiara ring i always saw this on pinterest on tumblr and i was saying one of these days i'm gonna buy one i actually have it on an old wish list on my blog so owning it now makes it even more special so this was a christmas gift to myself and i'll always remember new york when i look at it those tourist souvenir shops were so fun to walk into and buy from and I kept all the bags from it. So that is how sentimental I am. I even have the one of the snacks that I bought at LAX going to New York. So that is how random and strange I am that I kept this. So I have all the bags here. I even have an H&M one from the two tops that I bought in Times Square. So that is the bag. So I can show you what were in these bags. I love souvenir shopping it is just one of the funnest things about traveling i went to palawan baguio to Gaitai, a lot of places in the philippines and i always bought stuff for me so my tradition is to buy 
keychains with the name of the place I'm in. 2017, I started a new tradition which was to buy a magnet. So I have so many magnets. I actually have the magnets from the Philippines in here. I haven't put it on my fridge yet. I even kept all of them in their paper wrapping because it's so special. And yes, I'm going to keep the paper wrapping. So in here, I think these are the first ones I bought and it is a New York magnet with the apple and then the cityscape and I just love it. This was $6.59 and then I got two keychains. Here are the first two keychains that I got. This is a heart and it has pink diamonds and it says I love New York or I heart New York. And then this one is a Broadway keychain since I went to a Broadway musical which was so surreal. So those two, this one was $3.99, this one was $5.99 so I'm definitely going to put these on my keychain. I bought these, I think these are the first items that I bought in New York so this was like in Times Square. I was in Times Square. There was one of those souvenir shops and this is what I picked up. Then I went to the top of the walk. It was a very surreal experience and it was just so amazing. I got some great pictures up there and it just so surreal seeing like New York from up there so at the end I went to the gift shop so it has like this little map thing and like flyer and then I also got this keychain so this says top of the rock new york on it and it's of those uh, men sitting on that pillar this was 6.95 and it's just so cute this is the only thing i got from the top of the rock it's so special it was 6.95 and i've kept it in its packaging <laughs> since i went to it since i went there during christmas time i actually got an ornament so too bad that I couldn't put it on my Christmas tree I'm going to put it on this year so this is the ornament that I got it says New York I wanted something that says Christmas 2018 I just couldn't find anything um, this doesn't have the price on it but the it has the Empire State Building I was gonna say Empire State of Mind there it has the Empire State Building because right as I exited my hotel, I saw the Empire State Building every day. So just looking at it was just so surreal that I was in New York. So I had to get an ornament to signify that. And it was really memorable for me. So there it is. And we have this thing. I don't know what this is. So let's open it up together. More keychains. I am obsessed with keychains. Oh, these are my initials, J and Q, and they had something with a Q, so I had to buy it. Oh, and it has like a tax, a yellow taxi, and then the apple. This one just doesn't have anything. I love that the Q was more special. And then this is the J, and it just says New York on it. Very cute, my initials. I didn't get my M because I thought that was just too much, so I just got J and Q. The last paper bag is actually really special. I know what is in here. I just got out of watching Kinky Boots and I just met Connor Maynard. So I was walking out of the theater. I got some pizza at a local pizza stand and then I was just soaking it up. I was in the middle of Times Square and then I saw the souvenir shop. So I went in, I had a browse, I bought a few t-shirts that I'll show next but I wanted to talk about this thing. This is the last thing I saw before I checked out and it was really memorable. Like I was just in a bubble of happiness during that time and I saw this necklace and I had to get it. This is the necklace that I bought. It says Jackie and it's spelled correctly. It's just this very dainty necklace. I always wanted a necklace with my name on it and it's just so pretty and it was like when I saw that and I saw the uh, spelling was correct, I was like, I need to buy it because it is me. <laughs> that is me. I, like, I was in such a happy New York City bubble that whenever I look at this necklace, yes, I'll think of my name, but I'll think of that moment of happiness that I just was overwhelmed with. So I'm really thankful that I got to experience New York and yeah, I let all these keepsakes will remind me of it, but this necklace will just 
signify that moment of walking around New York City. I felt like um, I just recently watched Lee. So Leia Michelle was walking or Rachel Berry was walking around New York City and I felt that same way. So this necklace will symbolize it and I'm just gonna stop rambling about it. But look at how pretty and dainty that is. So yeah. I have that and I can't wait to wear it now. As I was saying when I bought that necklace, I went in because I had two more t-shirts to buy. Um, I love buying t-shirts for my family and relatives back in Manila. So I said that I would buy them all t-shirts because that is another tradition. I like getting me magnets and keychains and then I buy like my parents, my aunts, my uncles t-shirts of where I've been. So since I was the only one to go to New York, I got them t-shirts. So this is for my nephew slash godson. Um, it's just a 10 to 12 year old tee. I got him that. It's New York. It's $14.99 and it's just really, really cute. Then I got his aunt, um, my aunt, his grandmother, uh, a matching t-shirt. So they're both like navy blue. They're different designs, but I thought they would coordinate. This was also $14.99 and I think they were on like discount since I bought these two together. I think I got them half off, I think. So this was just a large and yeah, I love it. I have these two. I can't wait to send them to my aunt and godson. This is for my cousin. I was actually FaceTiming him and showing him, look, I'm in Times Square when I bought this and he helped pick this t-shirt out. This was $17.99. There's New York on it. He picked it out himself while we were in the store together. So it was really fun FaceTiming with him. Now he officially has a New York t-shirt from New York from a person who went to New York. So I can't wait to give this to him. My mom loves these t-shirts. She wears the Palawan t-shirt that I got her and the Baguio t-shirt that I got her all the time. So I got her a New York one. I bought her a pink and a teal one before. So I got her hot pink and I actually got a matching one that just hit me in the face i got a matching one so we can match together i thought that would be so cute so this is 14.99 i got her a large and it's just a standard i love new york t-shirt um love it so i got that and then i got me one i got mine with sequins though because i'm extra like that so this one's mine i got it an extra large and then this was just $24.99. Goodness, that was expensive. I spent a lot of money on souvenirs, as you can tell. I just got matching t-shirts for me and my mom, so those are cute, and I of course had to get it in hot pink, my favorite color. So my dad didn't really want a t-shirt this time. Usually I get my mom and dad matching couple t-shirts so they can wear together to be cute, but he didn't really want a t-shirt this time. He doesn't really wear the ones that I bought him before, so he is always using these towels. So when I saw this, I'm like, he's not going to use a t-shirt. He's going to use this. So I got him this. It just says New York and it has all the New York symbols on it. It was $12.99. So it's like a dish towel, whatever, embroidered kitchen towel. So he uses these a lot. So I thought this would be a better gift for him. So yeah, this is what I got my dad in New York. That is all the souvenirs that I got for my family and bought for myself. And now we can just go on to keepsakes. As I said, I'm such a keepsake kind of person. So I have more receipts, my boarding pass. So a lot of um, just flyers and everything. And then I have the ticket and my playbills to Kinky Boots. I went to see it twice. The first time I watched it, I went alone. And then the second time I did the VIP experience and met Connor when he was still doing Kinky Boots. So that was really fun. The tickets just went flying. So those are the two tickets. That is the playbills. Unfortunately, I didn't get it signed because I didn't have a pen. So I kind of regret doing that, but I'm keeping these for sure. Then since I went twice I got two cups one of them was free the other one I paid for and when you buy a drink they come in these cute cups this actually has some chocolate in it because this is what is left over from my chocolate advent calendar so since it was red I just put it in there uh, I washed them out 
and I just display them on my mantle above my fireplace. They're that special to me. So yeah, they're very pretty. Last thing I got from Kinky Boots, since I don't have the gift bag to show you because I didn't end up getting it, is this ornament. So this was a Kinky Boots ornament. It is just a boot so I can put it on my Christmas tree to signify that I went to watch it. Um, and it was just so cute. It's so glittery. And I actually got a discount on this because I didn't get my gift bag. So they just gave me a discount. They gave me like half off. So I think it's, I don't know how much it was, like $10. I think I got it for like $4.95. So yeah, that is the Kinky Boots ornament that I got. That is everything. But I have one last thing to share with you. My teddy bear. Meet Charlie Ted Ted York. That is his full name, but I call him Ted Ted. Don't ask me why. Um, I named him Charlie because of Kinky Boots because um, the main character's name was Charlie Price. So I named him Charlie after that. York is his last name because New York. I didn't really want to call him Charlie Ted Ted New York. I made his last name York. Yes, I named my teddy bears. I love Mr. Ted Ted. That is what I call him. I don't really call him Charlie. I call him Ted Ted. That's why his middle name is Ted Ted for teddy bear, if you didn't know. So I love calling him Ted Ted. He is the best $34.99 I've ever spent. He was $35. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I love him. I sleep with him every night. I'm not afraid to admit that. He is just the best thing in the world. He's like my best friend and I just love him so much. Who knew hugging a teddy bear would just like be so calming and give you such a relief in the whole entire world. Like it is just like it helps my anxiety when I'm feeling like stressed or anxious. I'll just give him a huge hug and it helps so much. I think I bought him after I visited the Flatiron building. I was walking back to my hotel and I saw a very tiny souvenir shop. I walked in and then I saw him there and I always said I buy teddy bears or stuffed animals when I fly on a plane. That's the only time I can buy a teddy bear. I was trying to buy a small one, but they only had him. He had a brother which was like brown, but I love his white color. It's kind of bad because I can't hug him because I have makeup on and I hate hugging him when I have makeup because he might stay. And throughout the day, he was in one of these. I think he was in this New York bag. He just traveled with me to Times Square. We went to like this train station. We just walked all over New York City together. So that was really fun. I got to take him home with me on the plane. So he lives in LA with me now. Even though he says I love New York, he loves LA now, don't you? <laughs> on the plane, I had the whole world to myself again. So he got his own seat and then he got to see out the window while we were flying and I had a full-on photo shoot with him on the plane and I just love this teddy bear so much so I had to add him in in the end so this is Charlie Ted Ted York and I love him and you'll see him like in the back of my videos a lot of the times now because he sits on my bed and yeah that is everything that I bought in New York City a little late but who cares at least i got it filmed for you that was everything that i bought in new york city i hope you enjoyed this haul let me know if you've been to new york i'll list all my new york city travel vlogs down below during vlogmas and i think that is it for this video so please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you in my next video bye everyone say bye ted ted